Hey guys, what's up? It's Blender 3D Animator with his next tutorial. Today's tutorial is on making glowing lines in Photoshop. <gasps> oh, I already did this tutorial. I guess I'll stop here. No, just kidding. This tutorial is redone in HD. Much better tutorial. Hopefully you will be able to understand this one better. It's going to be one video, nice and short, easier to understand. I'm not talking like I'm an idiot and this will work out better. So create a new canvas or project, whatever you want to call it, um, width and height 1280 by 1024 resolution, 72 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color, 8 bit background contents, white. Press OK. What you're gonna do is Alt double click on your background to make it a normal layer. You're gonna select your paint bucket tool. Make sure your foreground color is black. Set the background to black. Um, that's gonna serve as our background anyway. Create a new layer. Select your brush tool and you're going to choose these settings master diameter of 8 pixels and hardness 100% um, make sure you're using one of these brown brush brushes first so to click on one and then set your master diameter um, 7 is the lowest master diameter I would go, it gets a bit too thin um, I'm actually going to go to 12 so that the, the line gets thicker um, so now you're going to go to your pen tool and make sure paths up here is selected, that is the big part that a lot of tutorials miss. You have to make sure that that is selected otherwise this whole thing isn't going to work for you. So you're going to left click once on your canvas here and you're going to left click and drag this time and you get a curve. So if you keep left clicking and dragging you get a bunch of curves and so I'm just going to keep going here getting some curves. We and it ends over there. All right. So now, oh, how do we create the line? Oh, simple. Make sure white is your foreground color. Right click, obviously on our new layer. Right click, stroke path. Make sure brush is selected. Simulate pressure is checked. Press OK. You get this white line. What it did was it outlined our, or Photoshop outlined our path with a white line that fades from zero pixels wide to, what was our brush setting? 12 pixels wide back to 0 pixels. Um, creates a nice fade in and fade out. Um, a, a lot of people say thin edges if you want to call it. So that's good. You want that. Don't delete your path or anything. Don't right click delete path because it's annoying. It's in the way and I know it's annoying. But first what you gotta do is double click on your layer and we're gonna add some outer glow. I'm gonna select the color red to start us off. <laughs> Well, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select white, and you'll see why. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck our line is white, and you're adding a white glow. What's wrong with you? Well, you'll see in a minute. Nothing's really wrong with me. Opacity. Um, just kind of leave the default blend mode default. Make the size 43 pixels, spread 5%. I like those settings. All you have to do is press OK. Now you're like, oh, just great. What is wrong with you? Make a new layer. On this layer, it's going to be an overlay. What you're going to do is you select your brush tool and select a size of a master diameter of 277, 275. Um, one of those, just two, near 275. Hardness, you're going to want to set that down to about 40%. Select any color. Um, I'm going to start with red. And just start drawing. And you're going to add color to the glow. Um, if you just want, you know, all red, yeah, just there you go, you're good. If you don't want that, well, then add more color. I'm gonna go add some of that, add some of that. So now what I'm going to do is we have a nice like rainbow glow. I'm going to lower my brush size and add some smaller details. So I'm going to go like this. I'm actually going to make this white and just kind of run through add some little designs like a curve there, a curve there, a curve there. And I'm going to really make this small and add 
these lines in here. And almost gives you an illusion that it's like a silver lines through it. And then take one of your more like colors that you want to stand out. So say you want green. And with a really small brush size, about five or six, run through and add that. That really gives you this really weird abstract but really neat looking um, design. Alright, so let me check my time. Hopefully I'm not running out. Okay. What you want to do now is you may notice that your white line here slightly um, lost some color. And that kind of is a problem because well, you, just, you just don't really want that happening. So you're going to make one more layer and what you're going to do is you're going to select your pen tool again and you're going to stroke the path again whoops make sure you have your your old um brush settings that you did for your original um path so i had 12 hardness 100 percent foreground color white now you're going to stroke the path and it's nice and bright white again now you can right click delete the path and there's your glowing line nice abstract neat colors going through it I personally think it looks really good a lot better than my other one I have some new ideas you know better better ideas so thanks for watching this tutorial in HD remade let me know what you think if you're liking my remade tutorials I've only had two out so far but if you like this one comment uh, make sure you, you subscribe I am really happy that you guys have been watching my videos getting a lot of views uh, I really appreciate that. Um, thanks a lot again. Can't can't say thanks enough. Uh, thanks for subscribing, rating, commenting. I said that backward. Oh yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, subscribe, comment, and rate. Anyway, this is Splendor 3D Animator signing out. Thank you guys, and can't wait for you to watch my next tutorial.